All right, welcome everybody. Uh, we're back with an interview content and with uh, overwhelming popularity of Reaper requests of Reaper coming up very soon. We have a special guest from Lost Boys Contacts. Uh, and we call him, well, it's Reaper Duru. That's how you do it. And then, no. okay, his, his name is Reaper Duru, right? So you can call him Duru. So he plays both Reapers. So he's a very experienced Reaper player. Check, the, you know, check this item level. Oh, speed, you can see it. So let's get to it right now. Ah, 네 안녕하세요. 저는 현재 리퍼를 플레이하고 있는 네 리퍼 두루라고 합니다. 네 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. 제가 리퍼를 선택을 한 이유가 제가 작년에 이제 다시 로스트 아크를 시작을 했을 때이 리퍼라는 클래스가 굉장히 성능적으로 좋다 리퍼를 선택을 해서 지금까지 키우고 있습니다. Mm. So as for the question of why did he choose Reaper as a class? is you know most of mmos he likes to play a very fast swordman style of play like you know very fast very agile and recently when he returned to the game about a year ago uh he looked at the reaper after the change and reaper was a decent class play style fits to his needs and he decided to play it and then he's been playing ever since for the question of why would you uh, recommend reaper is one of them he showed you like an example when you press the z skill you get to go cloak and then you leave a clone out there and that's like the real assassination kind of style of play that you could do. Also, at the same time, Reaper has a really good movement skill and very agile. And he showed you another example where uh, t he has two move skills that can go through the boss. So you have a lot of options to maneuver yourself and position yourself very well. And if you guys are going, looking into having a very fragile, but fast and maneuvering class, this would be, it's challenging, but this could be a class that you could like try out. And as for not a recommendation for a certain player, that category of talk was obviously Reapers are very fragile, like uh, in terms of vitality points, they're at the lowest point. Therefore, uh, as he explained, he's been upgrading the armors, like armors as much as he can. However, when he goes to the highest rate, like, you know, for us, the highest rate is Con Hard. And when he plays it, you know, similar classes can tank hits and do DPS, as in, you know, do DPS while taking hits. However, for Reaper's case, you can't really do that. You can't tank hits and then do DPS. Playstyle of itself is you're supposed to maneuver around and, pro and possibly dodge everything, even if your armor is a little bit overgeared. It is for more experienced players who are like okay with the actual raid. Now we're going to go over the skills, the tripods within it, the, all, the, all the stuff based on uh, what kind of plays that they do. Which is that we're going to move to on to the next category. 갈증이 뭐 이런 다소 각인 구분하기 전에 우선은 yeah. 기본적으로 어, 색깔로 구분하면은 이렇게 녹색 스킬이 있고요. 네. 그 다음에 이렇게 보라색, 그 다음에 이제 빨간색이 있는데 녹색 스킬 같은 경우에는 이제 간단히 말해서 시너지를 묻힐 수 있는 스킬들이라고 보시면 돼요. Uh, the translating while he goes into the link screen is as for reapers, you have green, purple, and red skills. Uh, and green skills, we're going to go over that first is often used as synergy. Uh, and Reaper synergy is defensive down. They use poison corrosive to take down uh, the foe's defense by 12%. Maybe, I don't know what the translation is going to be, but those two particular skills is used as most uh, for synergy plus uh, doing whatever that he's going to uh, show you after. Mm. So as for nightmare is one of the most important skill for maneuvering is you land the skill and then you have a purple ring around the area, which is the maximum range. And if you press it again, you go into the opposite direction of the boss. So uh, you, you're, you're kind of like mirrored and then jump on the other side. Reaper skill is very important. The skill is the light skill, but it's reduced. And as for the next one, the shadow, let's call it shadow dagger for now. This, the second skill, which is also a synergy, this is a very important skill where if you technically use it, it flat decreases the red skill's cooldown, which red skill is your main DPS skill. So, if you use that particular skill, now as it says on the third tripod, it says uh, every time you use it, the red skill's cooldown is going to be dropped by 1.9% flat. So it is one of uh, the most important skill in the green section. Right, so even if you type it once, even though it's a combo uh, skill, as you guys notice when he uh, used uh, the Rage Spear, which is uh, the D skill, uh, the cooldown decreased as, as soon as you just press the tap. Oh no, then we're going to go to the purple section of the skills. So as for purple skills, what purple skill does is it's mainly focused on gathering your identity gauge. The shadow storm particular skill fills it up a lot, right? So when he uses a shadow storm, all, mo a majority of his meter just fills up. So therefore, these purple skills are very important for you to cycle, uh, cycle all your skills properly 
in order for you to do the maximum amount of burst DPS. So as for distortion, the A skill, it goes through the boss, right? So you technically use that for maneuvering, but also fills up your identity gauge at the same time too. And the W skill, which is shadow, you know, shadow trap. Shadow trap also has a tripod at the third level where it says it decreases the cooldown of your purple skills by 2.4. So that's not like the main purpose, the actual purple skill, but it is important to utilize you know, a certain thing, and then whenever you have a higher, uh, so whenever you have a higher spec, the skill tends to be working a little better and like filling up the identity gauge and then, you know, dropping the cooldown and everything. It helps uh, along the cycle really well, so he um, enjoys using this particular skill. 이네개 중에서 일단 최근에 한국 서버에서 좀 연구가 많이 되고 있긴 한데 우선은 기본적으로 자주 사용한 스킬들은 달소 같은 경우에 요세 개만 사용을 하고요. 이제 갈증은 이네 개의 스킬을 전부 다 사용을 합니다. Uh, so going over the red skill, red skills are your main DPS skills. Moon Reapers, they tend to use Last Gravity, Rage Spear, and Dancing of Fury. And, but as for uh, Thirst Reaper, they use all four, including Silent Smasher. Uh, so since we talked about the, skill, the basic skills and the, the skills that most Reapers use, we're going to go over uh, the combat stats, engravings, and all these additional stuff. Uh, to get you guys to understand how Reaper operate. 저는 기본적으로 특화가 높아지면은 그 주력기 급습 스킬들의 데미지가 올라가기 때문에 특화 수치가 좀 중요한 편이고요. So as for the combat stats, so at the higher the spec you have for the combat stats, it impacts the major damage scale for the red skills. And it also impacts the identity gain. 달의 소리 같은 경우에는 이제 아이덴티티 게이지를 아까 보셨다시피 이게 한번 채우고 이 아이덴티티 게이지를 얼마나 잘 채우느냐가 중요하기 때문에 대부분 극특화를 가야 합니다. 대부분 음. 목걸이에 치명 하나 주고 나머지는 전부 다 특화를 주는 식으로. So as explained for Moon River particular, they usually go as high as spec as they can for the maximize uh, damage and identity recover. As you guys saw, where you need to have the full identity gauge in order for you to go invisible. And then you do bonus damage while you're getting out of invisibility on your red skills, right? So the higher the spec you are, just does more damage and you're safer in building your meter. And as for the secondary stat, is you go for the necklace, you go crit, or you can go swift. So in this case, uh, it really depends what kind of engraving you go for. So as uh, And as he said, the additionally, uh, he has a 9-7 stone. Uh, so what he done, he, what he did was he added like additional engravings that can cover the lack of crit by using utilizing something like adrenaline, right? And then since he wants to cover a little bit on the cooldown, he put the necklace as uh, spec swift. However, if you guys are playing in a relic relic level, like relic accessories level, it should be spec crit and then uh, build accordingly. 갈증 같은 경우에는 특성비가 굉장히 다양하거든요. 신속을 완전히 땡겨서 이제 특화 목걸이 하나 주고 나머지 다 신속을 주는 이제 극신속이 있고 되게 수치가 다양해요. 근데 이거는 So and as for thirst uh, reaper for those of you who are interested in thirst build, it's spec and swift, but the amount of spec, the ratio between spec and swift is based on your preferences. As in like he says as your preference, so it's actually really important for you guys to try out the playstyle in Trixie and you know, hitting, hitting the uh, Scarecrow to see which ratio fits uh, to your most of your needs. For example, at the same time, he has said he has high level gems. So maybe because it's, he has high level gems, he could do something like a half-half ratio for spec and swift uh, because the cooldown isn't as impacted. But if you want to play a real swifty build, some things do exist like all, all swiftness and then just necklace on uh, spec as well. Those kind of full swiftness thirst reaper do exist and it is all based on your, your, yeah, your preference in mechanical like play style. Mm. Okay, so now we have covered up the combat stats. Now let's talk about engravings plus tripod because as you said at the beginning, Tripods, it depends on what kind of engravings you go for and what kind of place that you go for as well. 공통적으로 일단 스킬들이 다 백어택이 붙어 있기 때문에 기본적으로 기습의 대가를 갈증이든 달소든 무조건 챙겨간다고 보시면 되고 As for Reaper, she is very good at handling the back attack skills, uh, back, doing back attack damage. Therefore, Master of Ambush engraving is one of uh, possibly the best efficient engravings that you would choose for. So he has talked about Moon build first is as for moon engraving, it usually pairs with Keen Blunt. And as for Keen Blunt, as he's shown you some of the tripods, so on the red skills, all the tripods 
provide passive crit. The Keen Blunt itself is a very efficient engraving period for Reaper. And if you happen to have uh, like a 9-7 stone, the choices of engraving skill adrenaline itself gives you 50% cooldown, right? So if you actually have that, 15% cooldown plus the 60% on Dancing of Free will be 75. So you already have a maximum advantage on utilizing Keen Blunt. And at the same time, you're doing a back attack and you have the Entropy set as well. So as for the, the engraving choices, they are paired uh, together because it's very efficient. Talking about Thirst Bill a little bit is, as you as you can see uh, here, is it doesn't have Keen Blood. So as for Raid Captain, for Thirst Reapers, you only need hundred and about 1,100 uh, to keep the maximum efficiency for uh, Raid Captain. And the reason why is because when you're playing Thirst, what, hap what happens if you fill up your Identity Gauge Far beyond the green one, you get to be in rage mode. And if you be in rage mode, you get to you get additional crit rate, and then you get additional uh, movement speed as well. And as he's shown you for skills, the skill tripod, they tend to take cooldown tripods instead. So since you're taking a cooldown tripod, what does that do? You get less crit rate because the because you're you're not taking the crit rate uh, tripod. And also at the same time, uh, something like Dancing of Fury, you have a damage tripod where if you're in rage mode, you do 75.2% additional damage of that particular skill if you are in rage mode. So since the crit rate is significantly a little bit lower, the Keen Blood itself is, doesn't get as efficient. But instead, the engravings that are more efficient, something like Curse Doll, Adrenaline, those tend to be a little bit more primary on engraving choices. Since we went over the basic, you know, the thought presses of engravings, etc., Let's go over the tripods in a little bit more detail. 첫 번째 트라이포드에서는 솔직히 이 급소 타격밖에 채용을 할 수밖에 없어서 이걸 사용을 하고요. Again, going into details of the particular tripods. For last gravity, the first, uh, the first row, you don't really much have a choice other than increasing the crit rate because the right side is like stagger and then the other side is AOE. And the second layer of tripod is the first one. It turns into a dark damage and increases your flat damage. But if you're playing Thirst on the right one, it says if you are in Rage mode, it increases your damage as well. So if you're playing Thirst, you will be choosing the uh, tripod on the right side. But if you're playing Moon, it'll be on the middle one. And as for the third one, it'll be on the left side just to increase the damage itself by 180%. And additionally, as for Runes, the skill, the Last Gravity itself has a decent amount of stagger. So they usually put on the Gale Wind rune, but if your raid happened to you know lack a little bit on stagger, uh, you can actually put an overwhelm rune to boost that stagger up to clear out the raid. Uh, so going into the next skill, the Rage Spear. So on the first roll, you got the left side, you have the increase in crit rate. Obviously, for this one, this particular skill, Mood Reapers do go for it for to increase the boost to increase the crit rate. Uh, and for thirst, you usually take the cooldown tripod, uh, because to to decrease the cooldown even more to utilize it more. And for second row, uh, they both take the, the third one because it gives you additional 70% damage if you attack it from the back. And as for third one, uh, they both the first one so that uh, it increases the damage up to 85% at max level. The third major DPS skill, the Dancing of Fury, the first tripod is the same that uh, have an armor penetration. Uh, and for second row, at the right side, if you're a Moon Reaper, you will take the crit additional crit rate. But if you're a Thirst Reaper, it increases damage on the left side. Uh, for you know during rage mode and the third tripod you take the second one to make it uh, the, make the animation faster and do additional damage. Silent Smasher 같은 경우에는 기본적으로 달의 소리나 채용을 하지 않기 때문에 빠른 준비 채용을 해 주시면 되고 두 번째로는 이제 급파강이 이게 트라이포드 안 찍었을 때는 좀 애로사항이 있는 게 보여 드리자면 이렇게 채용했다가 이 급파강을 채용을 안 하면은 얘가 한번 더블링 할때 이렇게 해서 좀 모션이 굉장히 길어져요. 근데 만약에 이 스킬을 이 급파강을 채용을 하게 되면은 그냥 이런 식으로 바로 이게 모션에서 oh, okay. 이득을 보는 게 굉장히 많기 때문에 이 급파강을 채용을 하는데 최근 들어서 좀 리퍼 연구가 되고 있는 게 그림자 잔상 트레이포드인데 이건 솔직히 취향이라고 말씀드릴게요. 왜냐하면 데미지 자체는 이게 확실하게 높아요. 어 개인적으로 저는 이거는 별로 좋아하지 않아요. Uh, so for as for Silent Smasher, only the Thirst Reaper takes this particular skill and the tripod choices uh, being the first one for lower cooldown. And as for second tripod, uh, he was sharing the middle tripod and the third one. But the reason why I take the middle one is because if you without it, 
yeah, you guys have seen it, right? The animation, you do a little bit of back dumpling, uh, back dumpling and then uh, it stabs downwards. The animation itself is not concise. Therefore, if you take that tripod, the animation becomes concise and it's quicker. And the job for you to do is to rotate as many red skills as you can as a thirst uh, player. Uh, so they tend to take the second one. But the third one itself is also like a, po like a possible choice because, you know, it, the damage itself is higher. But then again, your job is to rotate as many skills as you can, right? So people tend to be uh, choosing either or for preference sake. And as for the third tripod, the, the left one does the most damage. So they just take those instead. 우선은 다이아소리 기준으로 말씀을 드리자면 이 섀도우 스톰이 아이덴티티를 제일 많이 채워준 스킬이기 때문에 많이 중요해요. 그래서 이게 되어 있느냐 안 되어 있느냐에 따라 딜 사이클이 달라지기 때문에 oh, right. So going over the purple skills again the purple skills primary objective is filling up your identity gauge. So at the first uh, tripod notice is at level 5 on increasing your meter gain. If you don't get this to level 5, your DPS cycle is has to be alternated. So if you guys are worried about it, you know, if you guys are worried about these uh, gaining uh, meter for Moon, it is important for you to have level 5 tripod early as you can so that the cycle gets more concise. And as for the second tripod, they tend to have the third one for damage. But if you take the second one to decrease the cooldown even more, and for the third tripod, you always want to take the second one because it makes the animation concise. Uh, if you don't put that there, it turns into a hold skill. But instead, if you take the third tripod, you can just press the button. It's going to be like a setup skill so that you can actually just use it and then maneuver after. And as for distortion, it's just a, it's a maneuver skill. So you usually put on the cooldown tripod and then the second tripod, it increases your movement speed. When we go in summary, you want to focus on your red skills uh, for the tripod and then the shadow daggers cooldown skill, uh, the cooldown reduction skill for the red skills and for shadow storm, the meter gain uh, skills are very important for you. So uh, going over the thirst for tr uh, details on tripod and the summary is again, the red skills are very important. Uh, and as for shadow storm, as you notice, you don't use the meter gain uh, tripod. You put it on the right side. And the reason being is because the shadow storm skill itself, if you land everything at the back, it actually is not that much different compared to your red skills. So they're rotating much more and they're just squeezing it, squeezing out more DPS. So they kind of adjust that tripod into the damaging section. Now we're going to a little bit of the advanced section, uh, going over some of the engravings in detail and how does that impact the play style and the additional things that needs to be added uh, to wrap everything up. 달의 소리 같은 경우에는 이 아이덴티티 게이지를 꽉 채운 상태에서 어, 데미지를 그냥 비교해 드릴게요. 그냥 일반적인 상태에서 레이지 스피어를 사용하게 되면은 이런 식으로 3,500만이 들어가는데 이거를 페르소나 상, 이제 페르소나라고 하는데 이 제트에 들어간 상태에서 사용을 하게 되면은 데미지가 9,400만이 들어가요. Right. So we're talking about Moon Reaper right now and he shows you the difference, right? Uh, if you're not in a persona state, which is the invisible state, the Rage Spear itself did like 35 million, but if you're at a Persona state and used the Rage Spear, it did 94. So the, the damage difference is really, really big. So it is important for you to refill your uh, Persona gauge and utilize that cloak and then use your red skills for maximum amount of DPS. Tommy, cool time is there. Like, what do you Shadow Storm, Shadow Dot. 이런 식으로 아이덴티티를 채우면 되고요. 다양한 편이긴 한데 일단 저 같은 경우에 특화가 높은 편이라서 이 트랩에 채용하긴 했는데 우선 보여드리자면 섀도우 단 맞추고 나이트메어 사용해서 다시 이렇게 뒤로 돌아오고 그다음에 트랩을 사용하고 이렇게 이런 식으로 하면 딱 하나가 차요. So okay, so to explain, so for, as for the shadow storm, he used the shadow storm to fill up that green gauge, correct? And then you use your red skill uh, for that burst and red skill damage. Afterwards, he says, uh, since he has a lot of spec, he can go through the through the boss, right? After having the nightmare, he goes backwards and then uses uh, the shadow trap, and then use the shadow dagger again to get another uh, to get another meter filled up for another persona combo. So those are like the quick combos to do uh, that he does for the burst. 그리고 이제 TV라면 TV인데 이 페르소나를 사용하면 이게 그냥 마우스가 이제 여기 있고 보스를 향해 있으면 이게 백 덤블링을 해요. 그래서 이게 음. 거리가 상당히 많이 벌어지기 때문에 이게 보스가 조금이라도 이동을 이게 안 맞을 수가 있어서 웬만하면은 이제 뭐 아이덴티티 꽉찬 상태에서 사용을 할때 
마우스를 보스 반대편에다가 사용을 하면은 이걸 좀 줄일 수가 있어요. Oh, so that's a that's a very interesting. That's a very important tip because if you go to persona mode, uh, you roll back, right? So what you need to do is you have to uh click backwards, like so, like gun lancers, right? They jump backwards, right? You have to jump backwards in order for you to be staying on the boss's back and do DPS accordingly. Because if you do it on the front, you move backwards, so you won't be able to land any of your red skills. So you guys may see a lot of uh reapers do uh, uh beginner reapers might. Roll backwards and then they will be doing enough damage, right? So maybe you could see those. <laughs> 큰 경우에 이게 안 되는데 보스가 이 정도로 좀한 미들 사이즈라고 하면 맞을 것 같아요. 가디언 right, 사이즈. Uh, 이렇게 size. 하면은 대각선으로 페르소나를 쓰고 라스트 그래피티를 쓰면 백으로 들어가요. Oh, so another so, tip is let's say the boss is turning around. Uh, you use the persona to move diagonally and then you use the last gravity to land the back. So these kind of extra details are very important for you to uh, do proper damage. So after you guys have seen like the top depth the ceiling play, right? However, when Reaper comes out, it's a little bit different for you guys because, oh, how, you know, I don't have that much higher spec. Like, you know, I don't have 18, uh, over 1800 with high quality stuff. It's gonna be tough for you guys to prepare it. So the question is always something like at the relic level, uh, where you have a much significantly less spec uh, with all these things, uh, there are different ways to do it, and he's going to explain it to you guys. So explaining a little bit, instead of Shadow Trap, because it's for like a much higher spec related thing, the Spinning Dagger itself, he says, is one of the skills that gives the most identity gauge, right? Uh, so you also have a option for Spirit Catch, the one above that. The biggest difference is the Spirit Catch has a more concise animation compared to the Shadow Dagger. So if you guys happen to lack a little bit of spec and not being able to cycle the skills properly, having that particular skill spinning dagger may be like an option uh, for you to switch around to cycle your skills properly. So he's going to show you how uh, the spinning dagger version works. spinning dagger, spinning dagger, so what was important there that you guys just saw was you know the spinning dagger this and the night the, so two nightmares right going back and forth and then using the distortion will fill up the identity gauge even if you have 17, 1700 spec and a disadvantage position for spinning dagger is you're not in like a super armor or any uh, sort of a uh, state so uh, it is important for you to utilize it and making sure not get hit to get canceled out and it's going to show you the spirit catch now. 그래서 아까만큼은 안 차지만 여기다 그냥 섀도우 덤만 사용하면 바로 이렇게 꽉 차는 식으로. Uh, so um so it's not full compared to the spinning dagger, but you got you have the shadow dagger as well. So you kind of finish it up with the shadow dagger to fill up the gauge to full. So uh -huh. as he ex explained additionally was for spinning dagger is based uh 12 seconds and spirit catch is 8 seconds. So uh, as for nightmare uh, if you use spare cast, the advantage the advantageous position is the skills rotate much easier, so they're all, they're ready to go, like both of them are ready to go at a certain time. So your cycle rotation is going to be much easier and much more simpler compared to spinning dagger. You might need a little bit of a higher gem, right, to 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 match the cooldown to make sure your cycle rotates properly. So those are like two of the different things. Because let's say spare cast, you won't need like a higher level a cooldown gem to make your rotations uh, smooth. So as he would recommend to like a Reaper newbies is to try out uh, these three green skills and then rotate it accordingly. So additionally, what I asked was, what if you're under uh, 1700, right? But uh, so those are not the thing uh, that you guys should worry about is, you know, if you're under 1700, uh, what he has estimate is if you have a really high quality accessory for Relic, your stat is around like the high 1600s to a mid 1700 range with the bracelet because you guys are getting bracelet very soon on like December. Even if you're lower than 1700 with the specific wolf runes and a uh, specific situation, using those three green skills what we showed you, like, you know, like spinning dagger or spare catch, those kind of particular skills, you will be able to rotate your skills properly. So you don't have to worry too much about worrying about worrying too much about trying to get a high quality accessory for spec to make sure particular cycle works or not. Because your cycle will still work even if the particular thing goes lower. It's just that the higher it is, it's going to be much easier and much more comfortable for you. 
you know, there you guys have like wolf runes, right? There's wolf runes and there is uh, the spec, etc. All these things. So there's so many variables to calculate it properly uh, to fill up the identity gauge in one combo. Therefore, you know, as if uh, 1700, 1770 ish and and higher with like, um, you know, like a heroic uh, wolf rune will be a certain point where you can actually use shadow trap instead to rotate your skills properly. So, uh, and as if, if se in this session, uh, it is really hard to, you know, talk about all the variables. So, you know, to keep this uh, thing super safe, those are the, the goals that you guys are, are mostly trying to get for.